Coming up on UPC, there's lots and lots of stuff today. I have basketball information coming up today in sports. You don't want to miss this month's Pet of the Month. All this and more is coming up on UPC, and it starts right now. Good morning and welcome to the Thursday, February 3rd edition of the UPC Morning Show. My name is Heather Zmoon. And I am Tamara Clark. Reminder from your guidance counselors, check regularly in the guidance office for scholarship information. And there will be an NHS meeting today after school in the Media Center. All new members must attend. Now let's go to Jordan with a Black History Moment, a Black History Month announcement. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Jordan Wilkerson, and I'm here to talk about Jackie Robinson. All this February, we would like to celebrate Black History Month with a famous African American. Today, we would like to recognize Jackie Robinson, like I said. Robinson was born in 1919 and grew up in Pasadena, California. In his youth, he was considered an outstanding athlete. In 1945, Robinson was, his, was the first Amer African American to play in the National League Baseball. During his time playing in National League Baseball, he won many awards, including the National League's Batting Crown and Most Valuable Player. Jackie Robinson was the first African American to be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Well, that's all I have for today. Now back to the news desk. The Tampa National College Fair is Sunday, February 13th at the Tampa Convention Center from 12 to 3 p.m. You will be able to attend workshops on paying for college, a guide to finding the perfect major, rules and regulations of the NCAA and the ABCs of admissions. This is a free program open to the public. Stop by Guidance or the Media Center and pick up a College Fair flyer. Could you use $750 in cash? There is a teen essay contest aimed at promoting financial literacy. The contest, Cash In On Your Money Smarts, offers Florida students who can prove their money smarts a chance at more than $7,500 in prizes statewide, with a tip individual award of $750 for one student in each of five geographic regions. The essay is open to 14 through 18 year olds and can be written in English or Spanish. More information is available in guidance or at the following website at www.fldfs.com. Once again, it's www.fldfs.com. And yesterday, many students here from UPC got the opportunity to learn more about mass communications by shadowing either a local news or radio station or even home shopping network. Vanessa Karut, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Ashley Zaratsian, Adam Campbell, and Michael Wojan all experienced what is like to work on the daytime on News Channel 8, while Alice Fiegel learned all about the radio business on The Magic Morning Show with Chad and Christy. Sarah Sarah, Jordan Wilkerson, and Jillian Pavlica all found about working on HSM, the Home Shopping Network. Jordan oh, even got to go on air and help sell up Panani Maker. Here yes. with our panini maker, yes. and, and we're going to bring Deborah yeah. back in too. There you go, Deb. And you know me, I can't talk right now because my voice. I'll eat. Okay, I'm just gonna okay. Eat. That's all good. Bunch <laughs> up. Oh, oh, congratulations! Oh, thank you You're so, so much. pretty. I went to um, News Channel 28 ABC. I got to shadow Brendan McLaughlin. It was a very great experience, and have footage on that for tomorrow. New College of Florida is proud to offer an opportunity for academically um, gifted young people to participate in the challenging weekend of learning. The Scholar Weekend program is open to all 8th to 12th graders who have been identified as academically gifted through Duke University TIPS program or through local school criteria. Application deadline is February 3rd. See Ms. Guthrie for more details. And just a reminder for all Drama Club members, there will be a meeting next Wednesday, February 9th. We will be discussing the thespian inductions and state competitions, so everyone please attend. Also, there will be a tech workshop on the 10th, so everyone thinking of attending, please set up a ride. And now let's go to Jordan with sports. Thanks guys, I'm actually Jillian Pavlica with Pet of the Month and I am here with Sandy Levi who is a certified vet tech with the SPCA of Pinellas County. So Sandy, a lot of people like to get puppies and kittens. What kind of responsibility is it to have puppies and kittens as pets? There's a, a whole lot of responsibility involved. Puppies and kittens are very cute but they need to be taken care of. Um, they need regular veterinary visits. They need shots. They need annual vaccines and trips to the vet to keep them healthy and happy. They need 
good re nutrition, plenty of exercise, and a whole lot of love. There's a, a lot of added responsibility for puppies and kittens, but they are also required to have certain shots and stuff. How old do they have to be, and what do the shots prevent? Well, most puppies and kittens start their first set of shots at about six weeks of age with boosters every three weeks until they're about four months old. At that time, they'll be ready for spaying and neutering, and um, they need deworming. Puppies and kittens also need to be put on heartworm prevention to prevent heartworms. And um, they get lots of other diseases just like people do. Um, many that you're familiar with, cancer, diabetes, stuff like that. So they need regular vet checkups. So it's very good to take care of your puppies and kittens. But you brought with you today two puppies. Can you tell us something about them? These are two approximately seven week old Australian Shepherd mix puppies. We've got a boy and a girl. And um, they are not yet available for adoption, but they will be in about a week. Uh, they are two of a litter of eight puppies. Oh. Their mom was not spayed on time, and we'll have to find homes for all eight of these little guys. Do they have names by any chance? Um, the boy can be Baxter and... <laughs> okay, but you guys, the other one, you guys can name it yourselves. Email us at upcmorningshow at yahoo.com. That's all I have in this edition of Pet of the Month. Back to the news desk. Thank you, Jillian. Have you tuned into Channel 4 lately? You can buy a video valentine for your sweetheart. The cost is only $1 and go to room F6 at lunch to order yours today. Tune into Channel 4 to see samples. Seniors who have applied to the University of Florida and need assistance for the financial aid can stop by Guidance and pick up a UF financial aid application guide. And now let's go to Jordan with sports. Thanks, Tamara. I'm Jordan Wilkerson with UPC Sports. Tennis practice continues this week for boys and girls tennis at 2.30 at McMullen Tennis Complex. Bring completed forms to Coach Hardman in room C3. The intramural three-on-three basketball starts Monday, the, sec the 7th of February. Outside courts from 124 to 150. See Mr. Bates for more details. And the girls varsity basketball team defeated Gibbs at Gibbs last night. So good job girls. That's all I have today in sports. Now back to the news desk. And that's all we have. And please adopt these little dogs because they're, they're, they need some home. They need a little They'll be up for adoption in about a week and yeah. they're Australian they're, Shepherd mix. This one's Baxter so you're going to name this one. It's a little girl. So We're going to leave you guys with some highlights, and thanks for tuning in, and have a good day.